in lieu of the hotline, if we can create an icon on our Access Irvine app for residents to report incidents, I think that might be an easier option that doesn't cost as much. That was the motion. Oh, I'll second that. Mayor, uh, uh, you were directing staff uh, to do to do what points? I just wanted to check points. Check points and return to us like at our at our next meeting, November twenty third. I'm sure we, they will return to us when they actually conduct the checkpoint. Isn't that what our direction oh, is for? I just want to be clear. Are we going to be getting back a plan for a checkpoint or actually implementation of it? I think it's just implementation, so we don't need well, to hear be, back until they've that, actually conducted the checkpoint. That would be great. Okay, that's on the checkpoint. I didn't understand uh, what you said with respect to the hotline. Instead of spending $800,000 on a staff um, a staffing for a hotline, that we add an icon on our Access Irvine app for residents to report incidents which would pretty much capture the data that we're hoping to capture. Mayor, um, um, I just don't think that's adequate. I mean, it is a step forward, and I don't feel equipped, frankly, myself here to um, prescribe what the hotline should be, uh, how those costs can be trimmed reasonably, Perhaps doesn't have to be 24-7, but it can be uh, 18 hours a day, 12 hours a day, uh, dovetail with our regular code enforcement. I'd feel so much more comfortable if we just um, directed staff to further examine these suggestions and return to us with a report and maybe a couple of options, including the one that you mentioned, uh, if they were returned to us November 23rd. Maybe it's because I'm, uh, I'm not a, uh, a techie and everything, but when people say, oh, go to the app, do this, you know, do that, um, I think we wind up leaving out a whole bunch of people. And it's not the kind of comprehensive hotline that I think is so important. That's my thought. Uh, would you consider uh, uh, amending the motion to direct staff to return to us two weeks from now with hotline variations? I think we've already gone over that and um, seeing the urgency of our residents wanting to have a place where they can report uh, and a place that can capture what's actually happening in the community outside of AQMD I think I'm going to stick with the app for now and um, move forward on that item. I'd like to offer a substitute motion, if I might, which is to direct staff to return to the council in two weeks with hotline alternative structures, including the introduction of an app but also exploring a staffed hotline, which would in effect be a registry and would be engaged in advocacy with regard to reporting these matters to AQMD as well on behalf of the residents. That's my motion, Mayor. Would you ask for a second? Is there a second to Council Member Agrin's motion? I, I want to ask a question about that. If I could, I have a couple questions actually. Uh, I've, I've heard referenced and maybe somebody on the staff who has more interface with AQMD can shed some light on this. Are we, are, is the intent to create a hotline for which we can aggregate the data or for us to call AQMD? 
Are you asking me? I'm asking whoever, if you, if you have an answer. Yes, it's for us to aggregate the data and report it to AQMD. And In other what words, is AQMD if somebody going called the to hotline, do when we tell them? It, I'm sorry, what's that? What will AQMD do when we tell them? Probably nothing, which is what they do now. But at least we'd have an evidentiary record of what transpired, and it was reported to AQMD. And uh, I'd underscore that by saying, uh, basically, AQMD, get off your butts and get out and verify this as well. And if they don't, at least we've got it. We have an evidentiary registry, and we can be part of the remedy, in my view, uh, rather than this idiotic process where people call AQMD and they don't work on Monday mornings. I mean, it's nuts. It's nuts.